story goes, Iris and I met at a mutual friend's house party in Southie. It was the middle of summer, and I found my spot right in front of the window unit air conditioner. Iris came up to me, and we started talking. She asked if I knew Chris O'Neill. I laughed, explaining, yes, I know Chris O'Neill, and we literally shared a bedroom in college. The next morning, I snuck into Chris O'Neill's phone, stole Iris's number, sent it to myself, texted Iris, and the rest, as they say, is history. that uh, Chris has found somebody really special, um, somebody who's going to be a great, a great wife, a great mom, a great friend, a great auntie, a great sister-in-law. And yet we realize that today is the beginning of a journey a journey that we pray will last an entire lifetime. Every turn another year carries new revelation. Oh, there's more to you and I than when we started out. Holding my hand, holding my hand. And now if we can express our gratitude to God for our newly married couple, Christopher and Iris. I can happily report today that I have been vetting Chris's every move for the last five years and I'm happy to say that not only are you worthy of sharing life with my best friend, but I have also seen you help Iris grow into a more amazing, caring and mature version of the person that I already loved so much. You two have fought for this amazing relationship, you've made it so strong. I'm so excited for everything that you two are going to do. Chris, take care of her. Take care of Stanley. <laughs> take care of the family you are going to build so beautifully. I love you so much, and hopefully we're singing duets for the next 50 plus years. Every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away. I think Chris and Iris truly have a, a very, very special group of family and friends around them. I always found myself wanting to be more and more like Chris, uh, do the things that he does, and earmuffs to mom and dad. But on my 18th birthday, I, that became a reality when he gave me his ID. Um, overnight, I literally became Chris Dufo. It didn't take long, however, to realize that 
No one can be the life of a, of a party quite like Chris. to love her, really, and Chris certainly does. And uh, we're very happy to welcome him to our family and his family. <laughs> Last week was Father's Day, and I know a lot of you are fathers, and this is one of the greatest gifts a father can have. Better than 